Hello world and welcome to my video about IPFS. In this video I will show you how to upload a website to IPFS and share your IPNS address with people. So first I will show you a website that I have uploaded. I found the templates online for free and you can download it and with very minimal HTML and CSS knowledge you can customize the website pretty well. There's another template that I have not even touched. That is exactly what you find. So here are some other links to IPFS resources. Cydrus Orion is a very helpful client to make your IPFS connections easier. No command line. Then we have a website about publishing your or hosting your website, which is a lot more in, in depth than mine. My DTube channel is YouTube without commercials and censorship. And you can earn Steam, so it's on the Steam blockchain. Here you can see some videos. You can embed a video inside the website, <coughs> or it could open another frame. We could also add some audio, links to YouTube channels. You take a sound, any sound, record it, and then change its nature by a multiplicity of operations. You record it at different speeds, you play it backwards, you add it to itself over and over again. You adjust filters, echoes, acoustic qualities, you combine segments of magnetic tape. By these means and many others, you can create sounds which no one has ever heard before. You could also add audio in the page. Alright, so <clears throat> that's the basics. There's another link to another template that I found. I haven't even touched that either. So from there you could customize it. And this is the bottom that has nothing. I haven't done anything there. So let's get ahead, let's get right into it and uh, load it up. I have my daemon running so I'll close that down so we can have a fresh start. I've created a little shortcut for myself to IPFS daemon so it just starts up and it runs in the background. And there it is. <coughs> Go ahead and open a command prompt and change your directory to wherever your go ipfs folder is next you want to add the folder the root folder of your website so my example is called my world and you add it recursively to add everything inside the folder now it's a very large folder 2.4 gigs that's a bit bigger than most people's website. That's because there is a uh, folder in there with all my development apps, text editors, and stuff that I found that's useful. If you find the link that I've hidden somewhere on the page, click it and you will find access to the folder. Now, that's 2.4 gig. That was really fast. So now we have an IPFS link to the website. IPFS is a static link. That link will always link to this version of the website. If you change anything in the website, then you will get a new IPFS address. So that's why we want to publish this IPFS address to our namespace. Our namespace is like our web address. That address will not change. As long as you have the same peer ID, the same IPFS installation, then you will always have the same IPNS address. First, I'm going to test the IPFS, the static link. So I'll copy the IPFS hash for my world and take note of the address if you use the ipfs.io that's the easiest and fastest gateway
and there we have the website. Now this does load a bit faster because I've done it before. The first time you do it, it will probably be slower. But it's also to show you as you update your IPFS and as you update your IPNS, your namespace, then it becomes faster. So next I want to check my IPNS address. And this is the address that you will be sharing with friends and anyone else that you want to direct towards your namespace. This is your address on the internet, address on the IPFS network. It's very useful to have a text editor open with some commands ready. It just makes life a lot easier. So let's just double check that we have the right address, ipfs.io.ipns, very important. And now it will resolve, and there we go. All the links will still be working, they're the same as before. If you like this video, please subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, keep watching for some more videos and tips about how to use IPFS.